Hey everybody, it's Turbo here just to do a really quick video about the NA qualifiers for the Shanghai Major. Just going to do a quick rundown of who I think comes first to last and then what other teams I think are going to make it through the open qualifiers. So first up is Complexity, probably the best team in NA right now. They've won every single game besides two that they lost on the 19th, so two days after the patch came out, to Elite Wolves. Not too worried about their performance. They have Chessie, they have the two uh, European brothers, the Swedes, and then they've got Swindlemelon, strong leadership. He's going to be a key factor for them. He drafts extremely well around this patch, and they always make sure to get the objective very quickly. Um, I think they'll be first. Second, most likely going to be Digital Chaos, so long as they don't choke. Yawar is a key player for them, but he's been performing pretty solid lately, so I don't have any worries about him unless he tilts and throws in the key series. But I think most people would say the DC have improved a lot over the last few months. They're probably going to be second. The real issue will be if 1437 will be able to captain the team to victory. Most of it comes down to him picking correctly for the patch and picking correctly for his um, for his players. So as long as 1437 stays calm and collected, he should be able to lead his team to victory. They're my second choice. Third, most likely Shazam. It's a tie-up between Shazam and Elite Wolves. Shazam are really powerful. They are the XC9 boys, um, minus 1437, and then plus Mason. Mason has played extremely well. They pick a lot of Invoker. Even though he was nerfed, I think Invoker's still strong for them, and Mason plays it extremely well. So there's no reason not to pick it. Um, so Shazam would be my third choice, but a close runner-up to that third is probably Elite Wolves. Um, Elite Wolves have played extremely... Like, they've been middle of the road in the last few days, but I think that they're still a strong team, and you can't count out Smash ever. So they're probably the the highest um, probability South American team to make it farthest in the bracket. Um, and of course they always pull out clutch wins when you think they shouldn't. Probably next up, the next invited team that I would say um, is like next in this hierarchy is Power of Friendship, but they kicked Ush. So this is after the deadline to lock in your rosters. I don't think they're gonna be invited anymore. Like, maybe T-Show will get the invite instead of them, but I'll get back to them later. I think next up is most definitely Void Boys. Void Boys are probably, like, middle of the road. They have a 50% win rate on this patch, I believe. And they are... They're reminiscent of Power Rangers back when Navi was good, and they were, like, taking games off Navi every once in a while. They would win games that were heavily favored in the other direction. I think Void Boys can pull off pretty huge upsets. I would say that these guys are the Dark, dark Horse of the tournament and they can probably pull off a pretty solid run so long as they play well they've got 747 very good mid laner in the na scene um but um it's a toss-up with them 50 50 like i said basically a coin flip uh next up um i guess is leviathan Leviathan have been pretty poor this patch. They added Zizzy, but I don't think he's performed as well as they would have liked. Um, we'll have to see how they do, but I don't have high hopes for them. They pick a lot of, they pick a lot of uh, Earth Spirit and Pudge for Jenkins in the off lane, and I like these guys a lot, but their win rate doesn't suggest that they'll do very well. Though part of it is because they went to WCA and they had a hard time there. There were allegations of cheating against Wings, and they lost a lot of series. But I think if Newbie had showed up and played in their group, I don't think Leviathan would have made it out of groups. Their two wins out of their, two wins out of their four come from a 2-0 over Team YP. Um, so I, I don't have particularly high hopes for Leviathan. Uh, next is Archon. These guys have played seven games, and they've won one of them. They picked Huskar immediately after he received basically um, nerfs that made him unplayable, so I don't know how well they understand the patch. Uh, Fluff and Stuff is one of the better NA captains, and he's had a lot of time to relax and sit back and theorycraft, but I think that in a team like that, when they start losing, they're going to start trying a whole bunch of different things. They're not going to stick to what they're good at, because they're going to panic, and they're not going to have 
a whole lot of faith in their strategies. So I don't. Uh, Archon is the odd one out of the group that's invited for me. Out of the rest of the teams, Enemy GG seems like one that's going to be really good. That's Banana Slam Jamma's team. He is. Um, he's a pretty limited carry player. He plays a lot of Ursa. I think it's five or six games for him with like four wins and then three Slark picks with zero victory. Slark is terrible this patch. He shouldn't be picked. Um, when BSJ plays heroes that can take objectives off of uh, winning fights, they perform extremely well. They've won a game where he played Terrorblade. They won a game where he played Sniper of all heroes. So he's a very limited carry player, but the heroes that he's good at, he's good at. And... Um, the team that he's constructed around him, I think, trusts him, and they pick him those weird heroes. He isn't the one drafting, but um, they have potential. He, they, the team has a good win rate this patch. They haven't been able to beat Complexity or Digital Chaos, but they did pull off a win over Elite Wolves recently that I think makes them decent contenders. Um, Slayer of Gods and uh, Demons team... AS1 both disbanded and they reformed the old unknown roster under the name Infamous. I think they could be okay, um, but they've lost the two series that they've played so far, so probably not that great, but they have a decent chance of making it through the open bracket. Um, POF, like I said, Power of Friendship, might do okay, but they kicked Ush. He was really, I think, one of the better players on the team, and I'm, they're going to give up their... Um, open, they're going to give up their regional qual qualifier spot because of it. They're pulling a Summer's Rift here. Um, classic NA Dota. Um, so, I don't know how they'll do. Maybe maybe Demon and uh, Ush will form their own team and make it through. Who knows? There's so many strong teams in the open brackets for NA. There's also T-Show that I think might be okay. Um, they've kind of been stomping a few of the other South American teams. Not today, probably not. Pain Gaming, maybe. Um, and then there's IX Mike's team, um, Freedom Gaming. They have not played any official games, but I know they've been scrimming, like everybody's been scrimming their asses off, to uh, prepare for this uh, qualifier. This means a lot. I think IX Mike's team could probably get through... But uh, beyond that, there's not a whole lot of info there. So those are my picks. Uh, just to reiterate, Complexity first, DC second, probably Shazam third. Um, Void Boys maybe close fourth um, with Elite Wolves. Um, Power Friendship, maybe they get through Leviathan and Archon probably at the bottom. And then the two... Open qualifier teams are hard to call, but I don't see them being particularly strong. Um, just want to throw out a bit of a plug. I will be casting a few of the NA qualifier games um, on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash turbovidya. You can follow me on Twitter to know when I go live at DAS Turbo. Das Turbo. I'm also on Patreon at the same address or the same name. You can donate there to support me. Um... Other broadcasters that you should check out. Llama Down Under um, is a really strong caster right now. She's been doing a lot of NA games, so she knows the region very well. I think you should definitely give her a follow at Llama Down Under, and I believe it's the same as on Twitch. Grand Grant also did a really good breakdown of the teams that are going to be in the NA qualifiers. You should definitely give him a follow on, twi on Twitter, and I will... Hopefully he will cast some games. I hope he does. I hope the homies call. Um, those are my plugs. Um, thank you very much for watching. Everybody have a happy new year. Hope you had a great holidays. And uh, let's enjoy some Dota 2. Thanks for watching.